How to Ballast a Revolution ROV Your Revolution is composed of steel and aluminum modules connected to a high-density polyethylene frame with a large block of buoyant seafoam under the carbon fiber shell to counteract the force of gravity. Ideally, the unit should be neutrally buoyant, meaning it neither floats nor sinks. This will maximize your battery power and equalize vertical movement speeds. All Deep Trekker ROVs are tested and ballasted for fresh water at a lake close to our production facility. However, all bodies of water differ in density and the ROV will require adjustment between deployments. Ballasting is performed by adding or removing steel plates to adjust the density of the ROV until it matches the density of the water it is operating in. In order to test the ballast of your unit, power it on and deploy it. Descend several meters from the surface to avoid waves. Bring the camera level to zero, disable motors, wait a few moments, and then observe the depth readout. If the depth increases, your unit is negatively buoyant and requires less weight. If the depth decreases, your unit is positively buoyant and requires more weight. Furthermore, ballast plates tune how level the unit sits in the water. Before enabling motors, observe the pitch and roll readouts. If they are off by more than two degrees, you may need to adjust your ballast plates. To add ballast plates, Loosen the thumb screws or use the number three hex driver to remove the M4 screws. Align the new ballast plates and replace the thumb screws. Plates can be added to the inside or outside, left or right, front or back. Whenever you add or remove weight, try to spread it out as much as possible. Extra parts are provided in the kit in case of loss. All Deep Trekker ROVs are ballasted for fresh water during production. If you are operating in salt water, you will need to add weight, typically six to eight plates. Every body of water has a slightly different density and ballast may need to be adjusted. Return the ROV to the water to assess your changes. If you are piloting close to a soft sea floor and concerned about disturbing the sediment and decreasing visibility, ballast your revolution slightly positive. If you regularly stop your mission to take notes or perform other tasks, consider ballasting your revolution slightly negative so you can park it on the bottom and disable motors to save battery.